I, I don't know how, how we're going to resolve this. I mean, I, lo I loved him, and, you know, the project's great and whatever, but this is the 25th night. I don't know why I did my watch for nights, but this is the 25th night I've had to sit in and do this. So, to see you find him, the better, please, because I think my friends have forgotten what I look like. They only know me from a badly sounding video diary that I do about a dude in a steel container. Um, Tim sleeps a lot <laughs> these days and genuinely gets quite annoyed about the fact that he's not been found. Um, he also today spent quite a lot of time slagging off a, uh, a well-known British TV or film face. Um, he was not a fan of this person at all, uh, really sort of went for them actually. So it would be quite interesting to know if anyone can work out who that who that is, because I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, try it up, work that one out. Um, he was given a rubble gun machine today, with a clue in it. So make of that what you will. Um, so that was a bit, a bit of excitement for him. But apart from that, not a lot. Just the World War Two link again. When he put up, oh, this is one thing that was interesting. He put up a sign saying, you know, he had a few signs. He looked like, you know, the guy that's the war protester that's on Parliament Square that puts all the signs. That's what Tim's getting like after 25 days. He put up a sign that said, um, what does it say? Oh, it said, I think I'm in Kent. I think I'm in Kent. Um, check Biggin Hill Airport. So, I mean, that's fairly specific. Whether it's right or not, I don't know, but that is where he thinks he is. And, um, yeah, pretty much just urging you guys to find him, because he is fed up. He's getting some kind of mental ginger afro going on now. Nobody wants that. Poor old Hayley is going to be bad enough that he's going to be slightly balmy. She's all, he's going to stink and have a crazy sideshow bob haircut. So, if we could get him out anytime soon, I mean, that would be super. I should have written in some kind of clause that if no one found him, 30G, write to PT right here. But don't think they're going to allow that somehow. So yeah, day 25, bubblegum machine, in Kent, perhaps. He thinks that's to do big in Hill. World War II, bitched a bit, slept a lot, grumbled. Pretty much a carbon copy of the last few days. But um, I was thinking... If, we don't, if he's not found by the end of tomorrow, I might do day 26 written on my forehead because I'm getting bored of pieces of paper. I'm destroying the rainforests. Um, but yeah, on that cheery, cheery note, um, ciao you later.